Hey, welcome to 201 Cecilia Court in the St. Augustine Shores. Great low HOA neighborhood. This home sits on a quiet cul-de-sac street. <clears throat> Excuse me. The community has a clubhouse with a fishing pier, um, a really large pool. They've got soccer fields and RV and boat storage. There's a golf course in the St. Augustine Shores too. Um, and again, the HOA is only $30 a month. The uh, exterior was just freshly uh, pressure washed. It's a really unique layout. The siding all looks to be in good shape. I really like this area here. I think it's really unique. Um, one car garage there, you have access from the front. Um, so for unloading groceries, it's raining. This is really, really convenient. And again, I just think it's really unique. Okay. Yeah, again, let me lock myself in. Okay. So this one was built in 1975. It has been remodeled. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. The interior is 1,332 square feet. There's a coat closet there. Door lets in a lot of natural light, which is great. Electrical panel behind this door is your water heater, which appears to be newer. So it is a split floor plan, so we're gonna be seeing one bedroom and two bathrooms on this end of the house. These are new laminate wood floors. Really large closet. This room would be great for twin beds, a queen size bed, bunk beds. Directly across the hall, you have a full bathroom. This is the one that your guests would utilize when you're entertaining. Commode looks newer, and this is in really, really good shape. Crown molding up there, towel goes all the way up to the ceiling. Tub is super clean. This looks great in here. HVAC behind this door, another linen closet behind this, and another bedroom here. This would technically be the primary. <clears throat> Huge walk-in closet. You can see there just how deep it goes. So really, really nice size closet. Could definitely fit a king size bed in here very easily with, you know, dressers, nightstands. The ensuite is cozy, but it is updated. Looks like needs a little bit of a scrub, but nothing crazy. Glass enclosed, same tile as the guest bathroom. And all the towels are in good shape, all the way up to the ceiling. Looks like we had, um, oh, let me get it to focus, there we go. Um, looks like some of the knockdown just came off. It doesn't look like uh, moisture like from the roof or anything like that. But uh, of course, that would be further examined in a home inspection. One thing I noticed when I was kind of walking through the house is that a lot of the doors, um, like this one, like, they kind of like just shut on their own. Like you'll see it starts to kind of go like that. So the springs just need to be replaced. That's a very, very quick minor cost. But just something that would be noted in an inspection report. So like you can see, like I was in there and didn't shut the door and like how it just did that, you know, by itself. So just trying to be as detailed as possible. So we've got four recessed lights in here, ceiling fan and light. This is a really, really large living space. You could even separate it kind of into like two different areas, kind of whatever you need it to be. This window overlooks the backyard. Got extra seating in the uh, bar countertop there. That's the front door. 
I know I'm kind of taking you all over the place a little bit here, but <laughs> before we see the rest of the kitchen, let me show you this room. This is the third and final bedroom. This one faces the front. Two closets, plenty of storage. Okay. And then a very wide kind of galley style kitchen, which is really cool. <clears throat> Cabinets all look really good. Um, does look like these are like Corian or uh, laminate countertops. Definitely not quartz, marble, granite, anything like that. But um, solid surface countertops. Cabinets all look really good. You can see up close, there's no um, scratches or marks or anything like that. So they're in great shape. Uh, white appliances right over here <clears throat> is a nice pantry. Fridge is on this side. And then when you're doing dishes, it's great to stand here and nobody's missing out. You can cook in here, entertain, watch the kids really is a nice space. And then through this door, you have access to your covered in screen and closed lanai. So these people were definitely entertainers. They've got their TV out here, their lights. Definitely a nice space to have. I spend like all of my time on my lanai, so. Okay, so right here, it looks like this was maybe either like they extended this at one time um, or this is just a settling crock. Nothing to be concerned about, in my opinion. Large fenced in yard. Um, the home sits on 0.14 acres, so it is a little bit um, tight as far as like the lot size, but I mean, you have like so much space in this backyard. Already fenced in for the dog, can run around with the kids, put in a nice pool down the line. And then through here is the one car garage. So this room kind of set up as like extra storage, little workshop area, which is awesome. And then the one car garage. And there's that front door that I pointed out at the beginning of the tour, washer and dryer. And it is an oversized um, garage. It does have the step up here. So the car would only come to like about here. And then all of this is extra storage. Okay, so this is 201 Cecilia Court in the St. Augustine Shores, listed for 339. Let me know if you have any questions.